Talk about the Lee employed. What about table? It's all employed. What about entire database? So we can consider the granularity, different granularity of the database item. Okay? It's the same idea in the operating system also. So when we read the data item X, it can be lead, it can be entire table. Okay. So read item, we already discussed about it first. Find the database block. Then the copy data is blocked to the memory buffer. Okay, then return to the user. So simple in the read item. So when you read item again, you need to search the memory. Okay? Then return the data. Right? So first you need to find the block, either memory or hard disk drive. And in case of the hard disk drive, you need to copy the block, okay? Then that copy should be copied before and after image. Then update the after image. It's called the dirty buffer and return to it. So this is the this slide that shows the sample transaction of the two transactions, transaction T1 and T2. So this is a timeline. And these are the set of operations for T1 transaction. This is a set of trend, uh, I, operation for T2. So read data item X, X. And it's a decrease by N, increase by M. Writing item X, writing item X. What happened? <coughs> if they are in the same time, Do you think database allows such operation or not? <coughs> it depends. Some of the DBMS allow. Some of the DBMS does not allow update the same item at the same time. It depends. How to define. Okay? So most of the commercial DBMS allow such a operation. However, until so Let's say this is a stock market. This, so I write, this is a balance. Okay? Balance of the, your banking account. So somebody take out the money. Okay? At that time, at the same time, somebody put the money. Right? But this is, a, for example, 1,000 minus 500 plus, it's a race condition. Okay? At that time, you need to disallow to update the same data. So you, you can explicitly lock the item. So transaction one, either transaction one and transaction two lock the item. Otherwise, if you do not consider such a locking, it can be done at the same time. Then the first, this will be 500, 1,000, 1,000 is committed. So it will be 1,500. Then it will be updated by the T1, like that. So concurrency control need because of the, this one. Uh, for example, lost update problem, that is the, uh, what I explained before. And temporary update, dot read uh, problem. So for example, Sum of salary from employee. So all of the employees' salary will be updated at that time. So user transaction one submit the, this one. After that, followed by transaction two update the salary of ID where ID code one one one. 
10 percent. In this case, what if the output of this T1 usually takes a long time and this is T2? If you, but T1 expect the sum of this point, right? However, before T1 read the data of the ID 111, T2 update the data by 10%. So this data will be not guaranteed. So that is the problem of the temporary update, an incorrect summary problem. Summary should be the old data, but somebody update this data. How can we address that problem? At the transaction control, you can keep the before image until T1 is completed. So all this problem can be solved by the transaction concept. Okay. Temporary update is the uh, first example. The system is a failure, then instance recovery. That is a temporary update. Okay. This is the example of the loss update. So T1 deduct um, uh, by N. Okay. In this case, the X is already written, then X is incorrect if the T to write at this time. So this is a uh, loss update problem. So we need to recover the such a uh, incorrect the data using the transaction control. So that's the reason we need the transaction uh, management. There are different types of the failure as we discussed before. So computer failure, transaction or system error, and some exception like the deadlock and the concurrency control are needed and disk failure and many other problems. So transaction will be uh, will address such a problem. Yeah. This is a database transaction state. So there's a begin transaction. It will be active, that means it will be terminate end transaction. There are two ways of the end transaction. One is the commit, another one is a rollback or abort. There are two basic operations as we discussed uh, before. So as before, one is undo. Undo means we try to go back. It should not be applied, but applied. So we uh, undo, go back to the original. We do is it should be applied, but not yet. So we redo that operation. Okay. To do that, we should have the low uh, information or the journal. It's called the journal. Using that log information and journal information, log and log or journals are the history of the transaction. Actually, system history of the transaction. Using that history of transaction, you can recover the system. Okay. This is the uh, information uh, logged in the journal or log information like this. Uh, Start transaction T and the right item TX and old value, new value, something like this is an uh, example of the uh, log. Okay. What about the Oracle? Oracle has the, such a log information. One is read log. So read log is the on write a head log before commit, it keeps the all the history of the transaction. So using that read log, you can recover the system. So it's the one of the job of the database administrator to back up all the read log file. Without that read log file, you cannot recover and destroy the system. Another one is a system. It's not system log, it's a kind of event log. Oracle also has an event log 
any exception or the any information change that will be logged in the some it's a lot log. It's called a lot log in the system. The other DBMS is the same thing. They keep the, such a low information. I already explained about the, such a uh, redoing the transaction. You understand why we need to redo. It should be applied to the hard disk drive, but not yet because of the delayed writing. So when system start to check the consistency time, so if not, you can apply again. That is the redo uh, transaction. The transaction should be should satisfy with uh, these four uh, properties. It's the same concept of the one in operating system also. So it's called the ACID property. So A stands for the atomicity, which means the one transaction is the atomic, which means it cannot be divided into two. two. So which means once it starts, it should be applied or overtake. So that is atomicity and consistency uh, preservation to keep the consistency of the data. So data should be uh, consistent, which means so in case there are multiple transactions, the other transaction should uh, read the data, which is not uh, even if before commit, they should support the previous image if committed the after image consistent. Isolation is once transaction is uh, before transaction is ended, so this transaction in the middle of the transaction is uh, isolated from all other transactions until committed. So this transaction, however, this transaction can access all the changed data before commit. That is the isolation. So permanency. Once it's committed, it will be permanently applied. I'm not going to explain details about the serialization, so I will skip that part. So each DBMS supports a different level of the consistency. It's, a con it's called the consistency level. So this is the example of the SQL2 standard. So SQL2 standard, as you can see, no explicit begin. So that's the reason you never seen the begin transaction. Some of the database programming explicitly uh, mentioned not begin transaction, but most of them are not. So this is a SQL2 <coughs> uh, standard. And the transaction either commit or upper or rollback. Okay. Also, you can set the transaction level, like the access mode, read only, read write. In case of the read only, all data will not be updated. Okay? It's only the read only. So there's no problem to support such a constancy. However, if you set up this is default, read write, you need to consider transaction control. So isolation level is a different level of the isolation. For example, so uh, read uncommitted. If you set up the isolation level as read uncommitted, that means you can read only the uncommitted data. That's a user and uh, uh, add. Not user, it's unusual. So more user case is a read committed data. So the other transaction can read only the committed data. However, if you allow the uncommitted uh, read, so the other transaction can access the uncommitted data also. You can set up the different level of isolation. Okay, so we are going to end 
uh, and uh, uh, transaction concept and theory. The next class we will discuss about the concurrency control. Uh, if we have a time, we will briefly discuss about the backup and recovery also. But backup and recovery is kind of application level. So if you understand the concurrency control and transaction model, it's not a big deal to catch. Okay, then the week after, I'd like to finalize. I do not decide which day of the week we will have the uh, exercise lab for query optimization as well as query uh, processor. <coughs> uh, I think it's probably the last day, the Thursday, but I don't decide. I will let you know. Then uh, I think the one of the one day, the either Tuesday or Thursday of the last week, I will introduce us about the, some research topic in the database area. Okay. Nowadays, the big data and the, some multimedia data are getting important. So how we uh, are using the, such a data for the, uh, to find the information. Okay? So probably Thursday will be the last day of the lecture. Then final exam will cover after. The midterm exam is not comprehensive. It's the uh, only the after midterm exam. I don't decide yet what types of the uh, question I offer because I am very, very disappointed of the multiple choice. <laughs> the average of multiple choice is uh, almost less than a half. Even random guess should be 25%. So I'm going to think about the types of the question. I will let you know before. Also, the project B, uh, since we do not have enough time, uh, I'd like to set up the schedule for demonstration at my office. Uh, I'm going to discuss with the GA. So each student will have the 5 to 10 minute demonstration at my office or the uh, GA's office. Okay? Then uh, you can, I will give the first chance to select one of the time slot. Uh, otherwise, it will be assigned. It will be next week. Any other question?